We're thinking of Toulouse as being a, um, both an art fair and, and, a, and a comment on art fairs, maybe. What's, uh, what's wrong with art fairs? Holy shit, what's right with art fairs? I think what artists want, to me, seems quite different from what curators want from them, galleries want from them, or the market wants from them. The Toulouse Art Fair was set up with the intention of showcasing smaller galleries, some artists run, some non-profit, some neither of these, whose close relationship with artists and their practice gives each of them a unique window onto art now. Some make a virtue out of being small, others seem attendant on growth. That in itself makes Sluice a barometer of the way the art world works, as well as a level space in which to investigate several different approaches at once. Sluice has no overarching theme, and if correlations appear between works of art, they're happy coincidences, not evidence of a new art movement. What they have in common is their foregrounding of the business of making art rather than the art business. Sluice isn't a critique or a parody or a survey, it's a modest proposal. You know, what's, what's right with art fairs is that artists, the best artists, sell their work and earn money. The galleries which support those artists also sell stuff. It's a good opportunity. It's a, there's economies of scale there. You get the collector base um, all coming to the same place, so galleries effectively share the collector base. Money is transferred from people who've made lots of money out of hedge funds and other things like that to people like artists, although half of it, of course, goes to the gallerists. Art is valued. It's given status within society by the art fair. By, um, you know, so it's written about. It's public. If you know I mean. It's an industry that's uh, about making money, but it's about pretending that it's not about making money. But you know, that's what the art industry is about. It's about money. It's an industry. We call it the art world. That's a euphemism. It's the art industry. Uh, for some of us, it's a it's a world that we live in and that we choose to live in. For for a lot of artists and a lot of people who are not artists who work in the arts. It's an industry. We are within that system and can work within that system and do quite happily and, you know, good luck to them. They do very well in that system. And there are certain types of artists that don't and will never, as, you know, unless something changes radically, prosper within that particular system, you know, because they just, their work is not economic, their work is not saleable, their work is not collectible, you know, it's like famously, you know, performance art and things. One thing I wanted to say about the sluice thing, what it is, is it's like a demonstration. Like, Sim and I were in this um, demonstration in by St Paul's that occupy um, whatever the London Stock Exchange today. And I didn't really know why I was there, but the good thing about it was... I Facebook too. Yeah, well, <laughs> the good thing about it was that you felt at least there was some... You had some power protesting about something that you vaguely believed in, and but you weren't quite sure what they wanted or whether you wanted the same thing. But just congregating together, like an art fair, like this thing gives you some sense that collectively you do have some control and power. You know, what, what is it to be gained by all of these artist-led organisations coming together here and presenting their work? Are we just showing work to each other? Um, or, I mean, I, 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 I don't I, think that's true because yeah. I have had lots of different people today coming along who are people we don't normally see in Hackney. They seem a different kind of person. <laughs> Maybe we've even sold a few things as well. So, but even, even, even if we are, if a tree falls in a forest and there's nobody <laughs> there to hear, you know, have you really had a show? Showing it all to each other in the scientific community, you know, the highest accolade is to be peer reviewed and put your work in front of other people that know or that you respect that are doing the finest yeah. scientific research. Absolutely, that's so an... actually that's not something that's. A, think about it you know just this kind of being like a pig in your own shit being happy in it isn't good enough you do need to find some power to judge what you do or to have some criteria to really make art better or to make something worthwhile and you have to start thinking well, what is it what is it I'm making is it any good what's the value in it and it, maybe it isn't it shouldn't be I don't think only economic value or market value